It's 2025 and there is a lot of AI nonsense out there in the world. How much of it is actually helpful for your business and where contractors are actually finding useful? This is a list of four contracting apps that we actually got recommended from contractors that they're using in their everyday life. None of these are paid promotions, just helpful apps that people are actually seeing provide value for the business. Number one, Plod.ai. So this was recommended to us by multiple contractors, but the person we're gonna be pulling most of this information from is Steve Young from HHI. Fantastic, if you are watching as this video comes out, there's a Valentine's Day discount that you can get. But for everybody else, what is Plod? So it is an AI note-taking device. It is a physical device and an app. And you can take this device with you, attach it to your phone, record your phone calls, record in-person meetings, basically having a virtual assistant with you all the time to analyze your meetings, take notes, and then send you personalized recaps. The magic to this is what you're able to do with the information on the back end and the different templates for organizing it. We do Plod notes when we're on site. So I set up the process for my all my project directors that whenever they are going into a room, they announce what the room is. So like when they're walking in, they go, okay, so in the master bedroom, we're doing X. And then in the kitchen, we're doing Y. And it'll actually know that it was an initial walkthrough and it'll break down what's happening in all the rooms and everything. And it actually builds our full, about 10 page front end initial proposal for us. It's so fast, I had to set a process up to say that, that you couldn't actually reach back out to the client for a day because if you called them the same day and went, hey, I'm ready to present, they'd be like, hell, what did, what did the guy do? <laughs> I talked to a few other contractors, and while they aren't doing exactly that, while it's not quite as built out as that, they found it as a very helpful way to relay the information from the homeowners over maybe to their design staff or the project management staff, people that need to be in the know on the project, but it doesn't make sense for them to always come out to the client's home. Okay, so what's it cost? Is it practical? What makes it worth it for you? So the device itself is currently 160, and then the reoccurring payments would be based off how many minutes of notes you need. So you can see here, the starter pack is free, 300 minutes, so what is that? Five hours of meetings per month. Then you can see they have the AI Pro plan here, which is 1,200 minutes per month, which breaks down to like $6 a month. Now, as I was looking into this, I kind of was dubious, and I thought, well, you could do all of this essentially on your own, so why pay the money? There's actually an excellent YouTube video that you can watch that I watched uh, while researching for this video. Link for that will be down in the description, going through exactly how you could do it for free. So if you're interested in this concept, but don't wanna pay the monthly amount, I would recommend going to that. But I would say that with this caution, this by far seems to be the most accurate transcription available right now, both because of the quality of the physical device and the AI that they've trained to analyze the speech patterns. Maybe you have that a try, but if you're having issues, I would then come back to this. Thanks again to Steve from HHI Builders. I appreciate that information and I hope it's helpful for other people. Okay, so our next software is Virtual Staging AI. And this was recommended to me by Chris Livingston at PK Builders. Now I talked with Chris about virtually staging spaces and the benefits of it, and that led me to here. So virtual staging AI is a website and software that claims that is virtual staging with one click. You upload a photo of an empty space, and then you can take it and turn it into a space that is fully decorated to whatever style you choose. You can head over to their website right now and try it for free. You upload whatever photo you'd want, you have the option to remove existing furniture. You can do a bedroom or a living room to see how it works. I have done it and I have to say, I, I tried out a few of these services. Um, I would not be recommending this if I thought it was in any way janky or would bring down the average quality of your photos. If it's like really nice work and then we kind of threw on this like really cheap, disgusting, fake furniture on top. Um, I, I don't think that at all. Here's the results I got from it. So this here is the photo I uploaded, a real photo from one of our clients, and here's the options it gave me. And you can see right away, they convincingly have the sizing right, the, the orientation right of the furniture and things like that. Now, this is not the highest quality version, this is the free, so you can go through and have it at a higher resolution, obviously get rid of the watermark. But as we zoom in, you can see how convincing it is and how it just lays everything right on the photo naturally. Again, that's not you having to do anything other than upload the photo and here it comes. So how much does this cost? It's all about a little bit under a dollar per photo. Do I think this is better than having physically set dress spaces and, and having a designer on staff who can do this stuff for you? No, I, at least for now, we're not at that point. Um, but if you, if you don't have that, I would 100% 
say this is better than just uploading the empty spaces. Rather than using stock photos, this allows you to use your own work and show off your own work, but still be able to dress it up. Also, one thing to note here about the pricing, I tried various models. AI Home Design, I would check them out. They could be about 63 cents per photo, um, but they did not have a kitchen option. I also tried Kolob and Stager and, and they just sucked. App number three, Brick. This one is recommended to us by Austin Cornell, owner of MSC Enterprises. He's actually a member of Remodelers on the Rise, which is where we sourced a lot of the information for this video. They have a free Facebook group called Remodelers Community. Um, I highly recommend you join it. A lot of the information in this video is from contractors in that group who are excelling in their industry. Non-paid promotion, just fantastic resource for you guys. Um, let's get into Brick. Okay, so this is Brick. As you can see from their website, the main selling point is taking back your time. Brick is a physical device that temporarily removes distraction apps and other notifications from your phone, keeping the tools you choose and leave the rest behind. Designed for simplicity, no subscriptions, no complex setups, just more time for what matters. If you have tried to use screen time limiters on your phone, a lot of times it ends up not being helpful at all because it gives you a little, little notification, you swipe past it, you put in your own password, and you're done. The difference here with Brick is the only way to undo that restriction is to physically tap your Brick device. So the idea is you're going to open the app, you're going to choose what apps you want to have access to, what apps you don't want to have access to, then you tap the Brick, that will lock your phone, then you can leave that at home, head to the office, wherever you need to go, and you physically cannot access those apps until you get home. Austin said that his screen time is down 21% and he's gained over an hour of focused work time daily. So how much does one of these little guys cost? If you go over to Shop Brick, 60 bucks US dollars. Um, if you're gonna get multiple, you get a slight discount. Um, but that's no subscription, one-time payment. You get it and the app is for free. $60, get back some of your time. Okay, last on the list, Render. So this is recommended to us by Peter Rainey of Rainey Blair Weidman. They are a design build company in Roswell, Georgia. What is Render up to? Render is a measuring app where you are able to take the LiDAR sensors on your phone, scan a room, immediately input it into as built so you don't have to create those yourself, and then take that and you can put it into your own design software, uh, like there's integrations with Chief Architect, for example. The main selling point here is cutting down your estimating time. We actually recently had AJ, the CEO, on our podcast recently, and he talked about the reason he created this company is as a remodeler himself, and it took so much time and effort to get people to the point where they could see a vision for the project. By that point, he'd already invested so many man hours. If you want to learn more about that, there'll be a link to the podcast at the end of this episode. But one of the things he did in improving that is creating render. On the website here, you can actually see AJ doing a live demo of this, and it takes him about two and a half minutes uncut to scan his entire bedroom and bathroom go in and then have those plans and have them imported into Chief Architect. Now there are other softwares that do this out in the world, that's not a new concept, but the, the really nice thing about Render is the straightforward nature of it. Some of the other ones are much more complicated, whereas Render was much more easy to use. So much so, in fact, that they even have an invite to capture feature. You're talking on the phone with the client, they're talking about their space, and you can send them over a link for them to actually capture their space themselves then directly on that phone call, you can have them send it back over to you, and then you can pull up the actual as-built drawing and have actual context for your conversation. So how much does this cost and is it worth it? Render is by far the most expensive thing on this list, but for good reason. They actually have a calculator on here where you can go through and calculate, in general, this is how much money the app will save you. So feel free to check out their pricing page if you're interested in that. But right here, you can see their pro plan is at $120 a month currently. After having multiple conversations with contractors and seeing what's working for them, this seems to be a more than worthwhile expense uh, to save the amount of money and uh, increase the closing percentage on your sales. So one thing you'll notice is I didn't talk about ChatGPT on this list, um, mainly just because it's so obvious and people already know about it. If I were to do it justice, I think it would be a whole nother video diving in on how contractors are getting the best use out of it, what, how they're using it for their social media, how they're using it for contracts and, and proposals, and honestly, just everyday client communication. If you'd be interested in that, let me know down in the comments, and then we will go ahead and start working on that video. If you'd like to learn more about Render and how you could possibly use that in your business, 
Here's a podcast we did with uh, the founder, AJ. All those links I talked about will be down in the description. And uh, thanks again to Remollers on the Rise for helping us source this information. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later.